All right, well, going from that, how about a reason to smile this morning? For 75 years, Girls Inc. has been inspiring women to be strong, smart, and bold. And while they celebrate the milestone of service, the nonprofit is planning to do the same work for another 75 years. Our Jalen Socek is live from downtown Memphis with more on the organization's impact. Good morning, Jalen. Yeah, Aaron, good morning. A lot has changed in those 75 years. Once girls may have learned to sew, a skill they would use as a wife. Well, today they still may learn how to sew, but it's part of a greater push towards robotics and learning about the geometric side of things with that. And, you know, now they're learning things like financial literacy about their own health and the power of their voice. In the 75 years since Lucille DeVore Tucker founded the Girls Club of Memphis, now known as Girls Inc., what hasn't changed is the organization's dedication to girls. We inspire girls to be strong, smart, and bold, which is healthy, educated, and independent. In its 75 years, so many girls have come through Girls Inc. and left inspired and empowered. What I hear from the girls most often is, I came in shy and I left confident. Lisa Moore, president and CEO of Girls Inc., says their girls do better in test scores, school behavior, and attendance. I mean, over you know, 78% of our girls plan to go to graduate school, not just graduate from high school and go to college. At the South Park Center, Janisha Hayes became a member at six years old. It was just a safe, fun space and just joy. It was so joyful. I just remember all of the fun that I had being here. Here she remembers learning how to change a tire, how to debate, cook, own a business. She's a second generation Girls Inc. member too, following her mother. Girls Inc. became her safe place because back then, as a black woman, um, she met some challenges. She met some real hard challenges that kind of knocked her down. And Girls Inc. was the space to say, no, we can try again. Challenges and inequities for black women are still ongoing. Girls Inc. wants to prepare them for those life challenges and remove as many obstacles as possible. We know that every zip code in Shelby County, women earn less than men. There are barriers that present themselves for us in all facets of life. We have to be equipped to advocate for change to eliminate those barriers. Moore, now nearly nine years into her role as president and CEO, came in as a volunteer back in 1988. What gets me emotional is when I see girls say, I don't think I can do that, and then watch them have the confidence in this safe space to give it a go, and then the light bulb go off. That confidence to be success is what has helped Hayes through her life. Today, she's a senior level leader in a nonprofit educational program and is pursuing her doctorate. If I didn't have Girls Inc., I wouldn't have the strength that I have. I wouldn't have the boldness that I have, and I wouldn't have the education or the intelligence that I have. Now, Girls Inc. continues to grow. Just this summer, they broke ground on a new facility that's going to be in the Fraser community. And Aaron, there are just hundreds, thousands of stories just like Jamisha Hayes, thanks to Girls Inc. Yeah, that's why it's so important to have organizations like that in our communities. Jalen, thank you for sharing that.